Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Habiba. I'm a full-time adventure traveler and this is my YouTube channel, Trekking Pals, where I share my adventures around the world. Today, I am in a beautiful village on the Atlantic coast of Morocco called Welidia. It's about 200 kilometers from Marrakech and from Casablanca, and it's a wonderful destination if you want to get your dose of vitamin C. Welidia is mostly known for its protected lagoon, which makes for great swimming, kayaking, and bird watching, but it's also known for being Morocco's oyster capital. There are so many oyster farms here in and around the lagoon and i am so excited today to bring you with to show you around the beautiful village of welidia let's go i am out here today with the yasin from welidia vibes and he's going to help us put together an itinerary to explore some hidden gems of welidia which i didn't plan in the beginning i was going to explore by myself with my mom who's traveling with me but right now we are at his house i believe and we're just loading the car with the kayaks we're gonna go kayaking first we've got two kayaks one sit on single for myself and another double for him and for my mom super excited I was just told that right underneath us there are boxes of oysters. I mean, this is as fresh as it gets. There are a bunch of businesses right here taking care of all of these oyster farms. There are so many boxes right underneath me. I can see them. I don't want to dip my camera though because I've got the microphone, but right there, right there. This is incredible. And then the facilities over there are where most of these uh, oysters are being processed right there. So cool. Well, Lydia, you guys, this is, this is awesome. This is amazing. We just got out of uh, the kayaks. They're parked all the way there for the first break. And the reason we're out here is to check a mausoleum. I'm gonna see if there's anything else to show you inside. This is incredible. When we were in the city, I could see it from up top, but I wasn't sure what it was. There is a masjid a mosque right here not quite sure if it's open and that's the mausoleum right there we just got out of the kayaks right there to check this restaurant, I don't recall the name, but I'm gonna leave it in the bottom right here. Uh, it's not only a restaurant, but they do have uh, an oysters park. And there are the guys right behind me that are processing some of the oysters straight from the lagoon right here. So my mom's up there. There, we're gonna taste some oysters today. Let's go. Okay. We just got our plate of oysters, which I'm very, very excited about. They look so fresh. They smell just like the ocean. So, cheers. Mmm. This is amazing. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. So good. So good. من بعد ما درنا البالاد ديال الكاياك وقفنا هنا في ريستورون د اوستريا باش ناخذ واحد البلا ديال لي زويتر لانه من الحوايج اللي معروفه بهم الوالديه اللي هي لي زويتر ولي زويتر كيف ما كتعرفوا جات في واحد لا بيريود الوالديه اللي ربما الناس كيقولوا سنه 1924 1924 جات على شكل انهم داروا تجربه بانهم جابوها الزريعه وداروها في هذا لي كاجو اللي كتشوفي هنايا 
كيديروا في هاد لي كاجو وملي كيديروا في هاد لي كاجو كتكبر كتبقى كتفيلترا يعني حد ما حد هي كتكبر وهي كتفيلترا بون ملي كتفيلترا كتوصل انها داك لو نيفو ديال انها خاصها تخرج للغشي كتكون واحد الدوره ديال الطبيب المختص بمسائل ديال الجوده ديال لي زويت فيما يتعلق بجوده المياه لانه كما كتعرفوا كتكون واحد المراقبه دائمه على جوده المياه وهنا هذا المركز هذا هو اللي كيقوم فيه بعمليه فرز لي زويتر كتكون صالحه انها كتمشي للسوق سواء انها كتمشي للسوق الوطنيه او الخارجيه فهي كتمشي للسوق وهنايا احسن بلاصه بانك تاخذ لي زويتر لحقاش كتكون من بلاصتهم وكتكون بواحد الجوده اللي هي عاليه وفي الاخر غادي نقول لكم مرحبا بكم في الوالديه فور توداي وي تشوز تو كاياك بات رايت بيهايند مي يو كان سي ا كابل اوف بوتس لايك ذيس وان رايت هير And usually, people visiting Walidia they would take a boat tour, which is a shorter tour. So, if you are traveling with older people or someone who can't really, you know, go in a kayak for an extended amount of time, this is a good option. And you can even choose how long you want to go for. But nothing beats being on a kayak. Wow. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night We just got out of the lagoon You can see my little kayak right there And then there are a bunch of boats that people take to, to tour the lagoon This experience was so incredible I highly, highly recommend it This was, this was amazing We are on our way to the beach, but I just wanted to uh, stop here to show you all of the quad bikes right there for rentals. So in case you want to take them, I'm not sure if you can take them on the beach, but maybe around the village, you can rent them out there. It's very clear. I mean, you'll see it. But anyway, I'm starving and I cannot wait for some fresh seafood. This is such a perfect view for lunch with all of the seagulls and the waves. It's a little bit foggy, but that makes the whole view a bit more dramatic. We've got a variety of seafood that really smells so good. We've got some salad, bread, and we've got some soda. Let's begin. I want to show you guys the lagoon. It's right behind me. That's where we were kayaking earlier, but it's also the main area for swimming. The water is still, it's very quiet. You can go and swim and have a lot of fun. But then behind me, through the rocks right there, is the ocean where the waters are very rough. And here in Welidia, the locals try to separate it into two separate sections. There is La Petite, where the lagoon is very friendly for swimming, and then La Grande on the other side, where the waters are a little bit rough. Um, it's not too far. I mean, one beach you can walk from La Petite to La Grande, but if you want to swim, the lagoon is the way to go. But I'm gonna probably walk just between the rocks right here because there are so many beautiful small pools and see if we can find something interesting today. These rocks are absolutely amazing. There are so many caves on the other side over there carved by the water. But it's just so incredible and peaceful. There is a bird 
right in front of me. I'm gonna try to be a little bit quiet and show it to you guys. So pretty. There are so many birds in the lagoon. We don't see a lot here. It's mostly seagulls, but when we were kayaking earlier, we even saw flamingos, which was pretty epic. It's right there. There it is. So this square right behind me looks empty right now, but uh, during summer, it's pretty busy. I mean, Walidia is very, very popular during summer season. It's extremely different than what it is right now. We're certainly traveling during the off season, but usually in the square over there, there are a bunch of uh, performances going on, mini festivals. And then I can see further out, there are some rentals of like mini bikes and scooters for kids to have some fun. And then also over there, there are a few vendors selling some uh, seafood, especially oysters sea urchins, a variety of oysters. It's definitely worth stopping by at some point if you are here in Welidia. I didn't have a chance to do so because I'm already full, but if I have some time, I might show you tomorrow. Let's see. Good morning, everybody. It's our last day here in Welidia, and we are ready to head out to our next city in Morocco. I'm very, very excited about, but before we do that, I want to show you around the Airbnb where we are staying. Here in Welidia, there are so many options for accommodation from budget friendly to five stars, executive level hotels, if you wish so. A lot of people choose to stay next to the main lagoon so that you can just walk directly to the water. But I chose this place that's a little bit further out. It's very calm, very quiet, incredible view. The view was the number one reason why I chose this place. The only inconvenience is that you have to walk about 20 to 30 minutes to get to the main lagoon, which I personally don't mind, but I'm traveling with my mom. I love this place, it's so incredible. I can't wait to show you around. And let me know in the comments, how much do you think I paid per night for this cute little Airbnb? Let's look around. This is uh, the main entrance. There is a small courtyard right here. And then that's the main door to the Airbnb. There is a terrace all the way up and I'm going to show you towards the end. There's a little seating area with chairs, beautiful flowers. And then on this side, there is a little kitchenette with the fridge and microwave and pretty much everything that we need. My mom is the type of person that prefers to cook when traveling to make sure that she is having, or we are having healthy meals. So we were able to find everything that we needed to make some food. They have a coffee maker. They've got all type of utensils, pans, pots, you name it. Let me close the door first. And then, this is where the room is. This is a queen size bed. They have a mini closet with some extra pillows and sheets. Beautiful Moroccan style mirrors and decoration. And there is an extra couch right here. This couch turns into a bed. So I would say that this room can really accommodates up to three people, two people in the queen size bed, and then you can make a couch out of this. And they have this little seating area with a little table. Before I show you the view, I'm gonna show you the bathroom. Simplistic bathroom, super clean. And there's a shower right there. And then onto the epic part the view look at that that's the lagoon in the front that's one of the sections where we were kayaking earlier me and my mom and then further out is where the lagoon meets the ocean you can see the waves over there and this is the property underneath us which has a beautiful garden some banana trees it's so very peaceful, very calm. You can also see uh, the water on the other side. And then from this window, this is the main street in Welidia. So you walk all the way for about like, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes to get to the main lagoon. It's a very easy walk. 
and on your way you will find a lot of uh, stores. My mom just told me earlier that there was a, a store right in front of the property right here. So she literally just walked out to grab a couple of things to make breakfast. But this is the property. Pretty nice. I was very, very happy with it. Let's move into the terrace. We just walked a little bit further down the trail and look at this view. This is incredible. Over there is La Sultana. It's a five stars hotel. It's so incredible. It's right by the water and you can see all of the fields. They have mini farms, farm to table, I'm sure. And uh, you can see out there, there are a few boats to take people on tours. A lot of farming going on around the hotel. So incredible.